There's always a myth, right? That 1986, 87, we have this great toilet paper toss event at CMU. And, and it was really big in 86, 87. I mean, that, that is the case. But it started a few years prior. So in uh, 1982, CMU was doing well in basketball. And we had some really pretty powerful teams at the time. The student section was called the Snake Pit, and there was a lot of school spirit. And so the men of Thorpe Hall came up with an idea, and that was, uh, let's throw toilet paper. But it was brief, short-lived. Uh, it doesn't sound like CMU was really too keen on it. But in 86, 87, it really takes off. The students are gonna do it. You wait until the first basket is scored by Central, and we're not talking free throws, we're talking the first real basket, and then let the, the toilet paper fly. It became a thing in that 86, 87 season because CMU had some really good players at that point, right? Dan Marley's one of them, Lightning Levy's on the court. You have a lot of really good players. You knew you were going into Rose Arena and you were going to have to endure a rowdy crowd, a couple of really talented players, and this toilet paper tradition. I show everybody the picture and I talk about it, uh, you know, back in Phoenix and they look at that picture and how crazy it was. It's kind of some, something that really just happened and that whole toilet paper thing just kind of came out of nowhere and it, it, I tell people it's the craziest thing. Daryl Miller would jump center, he would tip it to Tommy Johnson on the left side, I would streak down the right side and we'd thro throw an alley-oop and it had to be worked almost eight out of ten times, which just amazed me. I, back then I don't know if coaches scouted a lot because I know now you get every play on tape and the first thing I would be as a coach that came to Central Michigan is say, okay, don't let them first win the tip. And if they do win the tip, just go hug Marley. Don't let them run down the right and get a dunk. But for some reason, it worked. And it's a great way to start the game. And then obviously, when the toilet paper came down, it was, you can't even describe it. It's not like it was like a few hundred rolls. It was thousands of rolls. And it was just a straight whiteout. And um, it was pretty special to experience that all year long.